Howdy y'all, Bush51 doing Let's Play Pokemon Trading Guard Game Part 5. Alright, in the last part we finished off the last member of the Rock Club, and now we're actually going to be taking on the Club Master. His name is Gene. Um, he looks a lot like Brock, actually. <laughs> Except a lot older. Um, alright, his deck is called the Rock Crusher deck. Basically what he uses is, um, he likes using Doug Trio, uh, Golem, Onyx, and Rhyhorn mostly. Um, his trainer card's not that big a deal, he has a lot of fighting energy though, and he has some double colorless energies, which I'll explain if they show up. So, alright, let's get this show on the road. I am Gene, the master of the Rock Club. Rock is good. Isn't Rock good, Bushy? Rock is hard and strong. Doesn't crumble under pressure. After you duel me, you know I'm right. Come, show me what you're made of. Would you like to duel Gene? Yes! Our duel will be played with six prizes. You won't get the Rock Medal unless you defeat me. Rock Club Master Gene, Rock Crusher deck. I love this Club Master theme so much. It's like the best music in the game. Alright, let's see what we got here. What can we start off with? Oh, we got Tangela. Oh, we got two Tanglas. Excellent. Oh, we got a build. That's not bad. I got a good hand this time. Finally. After all this time of me having, like, crappy cards. Okay, so we're gonna put down two Tangela. Okay, so he's got three down. Now, first duel with six prizes. It's like an actual full match. All the other ones are just flukes. Oh, and heads is good. <laughs> this is actually starting up pretty good. Oh, and I got Bulbasaur even. Wow. Okay, so let's throw down Bulbasaur on the bench. And then put down that grass energy on Tangela. Okay, and then let's use Bill. Let's see if we can get some cards. Some good cards, hopefully. Maybe some grass energy. Oh, Gust of Wind Defender. That'll be helpful, at least. Alright, we're going to try out this Pokeball. I'm going to see if I can possibly get Venusaur really quick. I doubt it, but... Oh, yes! See if I can do it, then. Come on, where are you? Where are you? I don't need any more basic, but I don't need Articuno, either. Where are you, Venusaur? Come on. Come on. Where are you? There you are! Join me, Venusaur, and I will make your face the greatest in Pokemon cards, or else you will die. Alright, and we can't really do much else, so I'm going to... Actually, what does he have in his bench? Maybe I can kill something real quick. Oh, he has a... Yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of that Diglett first. Because that Diglett's way more of a threat than uh, the Geodude is. Or the Onyx. Yeah, Geodude or Onyx. Get some new Gust of Wind. And I'm going to use it on the Diglett. Fortunately, this isn't the new rules where you can't use a trainer card if you're going first on your first turn. So now I'm just going to attack Diglett with Stun Spore. I know I'm going to kill it next turn. Nah, well, I didn't paralyze it. Worst, worst case scenario, it does 10 damage to me or it evolves. If it evolves, it'll just, you know, be easier to kill anyway. Alright, what you gonna do? Okay, fighting it out. Oh, he's just gonna let Diglett die. That's fine by me. I do not want that Doug True to come out. Oh, another Pokeball. Um, I don't know what we could get out here, though. That would be helpful. Let's just save that for later. Alright, then Venusaur is gonna... Gonna be evolved into next turn. Alright, so this is actually pretty smooth sailing so far. I'm surprised. You know what? No, I'm gonna say that, and then all of a sudden he's gonna pull out, like, I don't know, a Goldom out of nowhere, and just be like, well, game over! Okay, he's gonna throw out his Onyx. Put another Fighting Energy. Oh, he... Hmm. He might use Harden a lot. Maybe. Harden is basically, if anything does less than 30 damage, it, um... Does nothing. Okay, so the Switch is pretty good. Alright, now I'm gonna throw down Venusaur. Top of Ivysaur. He's got po great Pokemon power. Energy Trans. Basically, as often as you like, um, during your turn before you attack, you can change grass energy cards and put them, take it from one Pokemon and put it onto another one. That's an incredible Poke power. Basically, I can now move all my grass energies all over the place, however I wish. It's really, really good. Oh, and you know what? I think I'm going to use this Pokeball, actually, and try and get Steaking. I don't remember if I saw it or not. Uh, I didn't, oh well, I didn't get it that time. No big deal. You know what, I do need some more energy, though. Okay, let's just attack it with Stun Spore. See if we can paralyze it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah. Oh, well, still does 20 damage to it. I probably can kill it if I just keep using... Or if I use that Defender. And maybe Switch or something, I don't know. Okay, now he's gonna try powering up his Geo, dude. I guess he's not really gonna try and defend against me until... I guess until it really counts. Caterpie, I guess just put him on the bench. Okay, then we'll just use Stun Spore again. Come on, heads, come on, heads, come on, heads! Dang. Tails again. See, now my luck is kind of getting screwed over, but whatever. Gene's turn. 
Rhyhorn, okay. Well, Rhyhorn's not that big of a deal. He doesn't have any Rhydon, so I'm pretty safe as far as that goes. All he can really do is just leer at me, basically. Unless if he gets for some odd reason three, um... Ah, oh, that's not good. Energy removal, crap. Okay, um, I need to grass energy again. <laughs> Unfortunate. There we go, okay, good. Grass energy, put that on... Tangle, just so we can get more damage done. Hey, come on, paralysis, come on, paralysis, come on, blah, blah, blah. dang, you know. <laughs> All right. It's a good thing I got Venusaur really quick too, because I can even save that energy from being wasted. I'm not gonna chance um the paralysis this time. So I got another female. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the Pokemon power for Venusaur, Energy Trans. And I'm going to, yes, yeah, so you choose the Pokemon, move Grass Energy, then choose it, and then repeat steps 1 and 2 until you're done. I'm going to put that on the other Tangela, so I'm just going to let him die, basically. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll just let that Tangela die, because otherwise he's dead weight. Alright, yeah, now I really got to get rid of that, um, Onyx, like, now. Like, yesterday. Because that, if he gets a golem, that's going to cause some serious problems, unless if I can para hacks again. Oh boy. Um, if I could just get that Venusaur powered up, that would be nice. Come on, nothing but grass energies from now on. <laughs> okay, also, um, I put Nidoran Male and Nidoran, or Nidorino back in my deck. I got rid of um, Dugong and Seal. But, <laughs> I know someone's going to complain and be like, I love the Dober Seal, why would you do that? But, oh well. Okay, good. And we just paralyzed Onyx, so now we don't have to worry about getting hit next turn. Hopefully I can just take care of that Graveler real quick. Oh, great! And now it's a Golem, so now I'm gonna have some problems here. That's just... Oh, man. Oh, no, the Golem's all powered up, too. Oh, jeez. This is a problem. This is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, jeez. I need energy, like, now. Like, right now. Mm. This is not looking good. Uh, let's see if I can just paralyze it, because I'm not going to be able to do any damage to it this turn. Okay, good. I just paralyzed it. Dang. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> he only has one other golem. If he gets two golems, I'm just going to... I, I don't even know. Like, maybe a rage quit or something. I have no idea. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to throw down a defender on Tangela because I have a feeling he's going to switch to Gra er, Golem next turn. And if that happens, then Tangela is going to... It would die in one hit. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to be protected. And I'm going to try and pair hacks it at least as much as possible. And then probably use that plus power on it. And oh good, good thing I didn't get those paralysis before and I let one of my king one of my yeah, my Kingdra. One of my Tangela die. Alright, let's see. Okay, good, a grass energy. That's that's good at least. Yeah, alright, alright. What are you gonna are you gonna earthquake on me or what? Or are you just gonna use your stupid Oh good! There's another Ugh. Avalanche. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so there. Oh yeah, he has like Avalanche and self destruct, which would like kill him and just like wreck me. Okay, um, okay, Articuno, great. Maybe if I could power up Articuno and just stall crap out of it again. Okay, and then I'm gonna attach... Um, actually... No, you know what, I think we're just better off trying to parahax it. Instead of just moving the grass energy. Alright, come on, I need this, like, now, this is bad. Oh, good. Whew! Let's get into 30 to him. Thank goodness. Yeah, so I think it's gonna take like uh, three more turns to kill him. Hopefully, he won't get another golem out. Otherwise, I'll really be in trouble. Oh, energy removal. That's not bad, especially since I can just. Yeah, you know what? I think he only has three energy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. So basically, what I can do is I can use this energy removal. Hopefully, survive for another turn, either paralyzing him or something. <laughs> Okay, gonna throw this grass energy down on Venusaur. 
And then I'm gonna use Stun Spore again. Hopefully, come on, Parahax, 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 Yes! Oh, good lord. I almost feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not. This is ridiculous. Oh, good lord. Oh, yes! And he didn't even do anything. Sweet. I love trainer cards sometimes. <laughs> and that's why they don't have energy removal anymore, either, because it's so good. Alright, you stun poor guy. Come on, Parahax, run! Eh, whatever. Worst case scenario, he dies, and then I just kill it with, like, Goldeen or something. Which I I'll accept. I can take that, at least. Oh, yeah, he's probably gonna get another- he's probably gonna kill Titanwall this turn. Dang. Oh, well. This is actually a really close fight. I'm- Oh. That's not good. <laughs> Computer search, basically, you, um, shuffle- Oh, no, he got his own Why would you do that? <laughs> no. No. Why would you do that? Alright, so we have another problem here. Unfortunately. Um I think I'm gonna throw out Goldeen so I can kill that one at least. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Goldeen, you squirt! <laughs> Alright, Venusaur's almost powered. If I can get Venusaur powered up, then I'll just be all set, but Goldeen, you're a beast! Take out the giant rock monster. Alright. Come on, grass energy. Yes! Excellent! This game might be mine forever and ever now. Alright, what's he gonna do? Oh, he's just gonna avalanche all over me. Uh, no, you squished my goldfish. No! Why would you do that right there? Why? Alright, Venusaur. It's time for your debut. Oh, and a gust of wind. Nice. Alright, prepare to bow down before the awesome might of Solar Beam! Blah, 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 blah. 120 damage due to weakness. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is over. Oh, goodness. He had both of his golems, but I was able to take him out. Oh, man. I never thought I'd actually be able to use Venusaur in any of these fights, because stage twos are actually pretty hard to use. Oh, you know what? Venusaur. Hey, Pokemon Green. What do you know? <laughs> Maybe I just have some kind of weird affinity with Venusaur. Right, we're just gonna attach this water energy to Articuno, just, you know, for something to do. Then, oh, and I can't attack as a Leer. Oh well. No big deal. Worst case scenario, he gets a Dugtrio. But even then, I can just kill it in one hit. So basically, now we're just gonna have to wait until I get to kill everything with Venusaur. Ah, man, stall. You know what, I might have to cut this, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. Just another switch. Done. Come on, quit hitting with Leer. This is lame. Come on, Tails, come on, Tails, come on, Tails, come on. Ah! Stop doing this to me! Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna touch another one to Articuno. Actually, you know what? Um. Articuno. Okay. I was thinking about actually switching out so I can attack him, because if you switch out. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do something ridiculous now. I'm gonna switch to Articuno. And then I'm gonna use another switch and switch back to Venusaur. I don't know why I didn't think about doing this earlier. And then I'm just gonna Solar Beam him to death. <laughs> yes! Oh, good lord. That was Shannon. Oh, good lord. Alright, well, Geodude's all he's got left, and this battle's over. Finish him! Oh, look, there's Nidorino. We can evolve it! Yay! Let's do it again easily! Yay! Solar Beam! Bow wow! And you dude was knocked out. Glasses. Oh, potion, thanks. Bushy took all the prizes! Decision! I won the duel with Gene after a surprising upset once again. Him and his two golems. Wonderful! Your persistence. Persistence that even break rock has led you to defeat me. You are worthy of receiving this rock medal. Yahoo! Bushy won the rock medal! And take this booster pack, too. I got a booster pack, mystery. Let's see what I got. Aerodactyl, Persian, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Mysterious Fossil, Drowsy, Kabuto, Execute, Vulpix, Meowth. And another booster pack. Alright, well, I got another Aerodactyl, Meowth. Oh, I got a double color of yes. Vulpix, Kabuto, Drowsy, Meowth, Voltorb, Nidoran, Female. I look forward to the day we do again. 
Alright, everybody, and that's gonna have to be it for this episode. Uh, we took down Junior, we got our first medal. Alright, next time we're gonna proceed to the next club. Alright, thanks again for watching, guys. This is Bush51. Peace out.